second deadly overdose inside the Hamilton County Jail is prompting new action tonight. Right, and commanders say they do not know how convicted killer Daniel Davis got a hold of heroin while locked up, but they are tightening security now. WLWT News Slash John London is live for us tonight at the Justice Center with the battle behind bars. John. Yeah, they're going to do some enhanced training, uh, Cherie. They already have a sophisticated scanning system. They do random canine drug searches. They point out that a lethal dose of heroin is about the size of this sweet and low packet. What they do know is that addicts are desperate and they see thousands of them processed through intake every year. One prisoner even swallowed a balloon of heroin prior to sentencing, had to be rushed to the hospital. Balloons show up as shadows on the scanner, so the coroner is going to provide more training for detection. But this jail is literally the largest detox center in the region. Over 9,000 people came through this system in 2013 that was using heroin. So that in itself tells you there's a big demand for that drug, whether you're outside or inside. And unfortunately, on this occasion at least, something this size slipped through the system. And they do not know how the heroin got in. We asked them and they answered that they do not suspect that there is anything involving staff employees or jail guards that they do an extensive criminal background check and are very diligent about making sure staff is not involved in any criminal activity. They see what happened as a symptom of a larger societal problem. Live at the Justice Center, John London, WLWT News 5. So in the months to come, a mini intake center will be set up at the courthouse to try and catch any drugs before prisoners arrive at our jail.